fucking kidding me, dude. Okay, so if you looked through the changelog for 1.89, you may or may not have noticed that the Hellfire missiles for the Viper got an update. Basically, you're supposed to designate a target when the missile is launched, then turn off the laser designator while the missile is in the air. And just before the missile impacts, you turn the laser back on again to make sure that the missile actually hits the target. So, while the laser designator is off, uh, the missile uses something called inertial navigation to remember the last position that was being designated. Now on the first dev server, uh, you could fire and forget, as in, you didn't need to designate the target before impact, that would have some interesting implications for tank RB if that were the case. Uh, where you might, for example, spot a Tunguska out in the open, you shoot a Hellfire at him, and then duck back below the hill and let the missile do its thing. Uh, it would be up to the Tunguska driver then to keep moving around in order not to get hit. Unfortunately, that's not how it works on the live server, so between the time when the first dev server went up and when 1.89 was actually released, they changed something called the inertial navigation drift speed. Uh, that value went from 0.5 to 5.0, so now the Hellfires drift about 10 times more than they used to uh, while flying by inertial navigation. And so instead of being pinpoint accurate, they now look a bit like this. Yeah, so uh, no more fire and forget. But uh, how about that uh, lock on after the launch thing? You know, in principle, you could pop up about uh, five kilometers away from behind a hill, fire at a target, duck back down while the missile is in the air, and then once the target, uh, well, the impact timer gets close to zero, you could pop back up, redesignate the target, and uh, no, that's not how that works either, unfortunately. Uh, turns out the inertial navigation drift is really really, really bad at longer ranges, so you pretty much need to have the laser designator on until the missile hits the target. Um, yeah, okay, so fine, but the Hellfires still have the greatest range of all helicopter anti tech missiles, which is uh, 8 kilometers. So maybe you could at least use the massive range on this missile to give yourself uh, a few valuable seconds to evade like incoming SAMs or something. After all, the Tunguska's missiles only have a max range of about 8 kilometers as well. Once again, sounds, sounds good, good doesn't, doesn't work. work. Uh, and that's for a variety of reasons. Firstly, because tanks uh, apparently don't even fucking render past 4 to 5 kilometers. Where is he? And I suspect this has something to do with the uh, keen vision restart. So, if you're further away than the render distance, uh, things just won't render for you. Uh, ground vehicles can still see you though, so that's very cool. Uh, but even if tanks do render, it's no guarantee that you'll actually be able to, you know, even spot them. Uh, barring that, there's also the issue of, you know, vertical terrain and buildings that can obscure tanks as they move around, and that at longer ranges, uh, you'll have to deal with something called tank skating, this very cool thing where the server decides to update the tank's location, like, once every second or something. So, essentially making them impossible to hit. Uh, that's cool. <sighs> Yikes, okay, so uh, the tanks decide if the, if the tanks decide to render, if you manage to actually spot a tank, if it's out in the open, if it's close enough that it isn't Hansei what he's doing across the fucking map, and if there's no buildings or terrain to obscure it, then that's a kill, right? Wow. You fire your missile at the tank, steadily designate it with the laser, and then the missile decides to eat the fucking dirt right in front of the fucking tank. Oh, did I not mention the Hellfires have this funky lofting trajectory? Yeah, that allows it to have these pointless 8 kilometer ranges. Uh, unfortunately, this means that the uh, Hellfires have a hard time hitting anything that isn't bolted into the ground. Uh, yeah, so... Um. Oh, I uh, do have some good news though. You have 16 of these lawn darts, and uh, you don't have to use them one at a time. Okay, I have, an, I have a solution to my... Uh Shitty Hellfire problem. Here we go. So what? Oh, not one of them hit. Oh, I got one hit. Wow, amazing. You're great, success! <laughs>